Spurs defender Ben Davis has come out and said we know what we need to do and it is still in our hands to finish in the top four. Queen's Park Rangers are interested in three Tottenham Hotspur youngsters. Antonio Conte wants six players in the summer. Three Premier League referees will retire at the end of this season and reports are stating that Spurs are interested in Wolf star Ruben Neves. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. In today's episode, I'll be going through all of the latest Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button and that notification bell where YouTube will notify you every single time I upload a new video. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Just before I get into today's video, make sure that you download the OneFootball app for all of the live football scores, results and news, as well as getting all of the latest Spurs news on this channel. You can also see it all here. Download the OneFootball app to keep up to date with everything Tottenham Hotspur. Club news, transfer news, match information, videos, tables and results from all around the world. Don't miss out and please do let me know what you think of this app. One Premier League game took place on Thursday evening. Manchester United drew 1-1 at home against Chelsea. Six games will take place in the Premier League on Saturday, three on Sunday and one on Monday. The six games Saturday are as follows. Newcastle against Liverpool. Aston Villa will play Norwich. Southampton will host Crystal Palace. Watford will play Burnley. Wolves will play Brighton. And Leeds will play Manchester City. On Sunday, Everton will take on Chelsea. Spurs against Leicester, 2pm kickoff. West Ham will host Arsenal. The game on Monday evening. Manchester United will play Brentford. After Manchester United drew 1-1 against Chelsea on Thursday evening, they remain 6th in the Premier League. They now have 55 points from 35 matches. They have now played two games more than Spurs and they are three points away from Tottenham in 5th place. We have played 33, we have won 18, we have drawn 4 and lost 11. We have a goal difference of plus 18, we have 58 points. We have played the same amount of games as our North London rivals Arsenal sat in 4th place right now. We are two points behind them. Spurs defender Ben Davis has been talking about the last couple of Premier League performances and results and also says that it is still in Tottenham Hotspur's hands to finish in a Champions League spot in the top four. He said the last time we had a couple of bad results, we went on a great run. Hopefully we can do it again. Every time you go on a good run, teams will always change their tactics to make it difficult for you. That will happen. Now it's about how we deal with it and how we respond. We're well aware that the last couple of results needed to be better and we're focused on putting it right. We know the importance of it and we're well aware of what needs to be done. It is in our hands. We've got big games coming up, matches where we know we need results. We have to go into them full of confidence. If you'd have given us this position six months ago, we would have bitten your hand off. So we're looking forward to it. Ben Davis then went on to say it's a massive opportunity. We've put ourselves in a great spot, really. It's still in our hands. And if we can get on a good run until the end of the season, then we're confident we're able to get there. Now, my thoughts on Ben Davis's comments. We've got five games left. and I'm going to state the obvious here. Five huge games, 15 points to play for. We are two points away from Arsenal in the top four at the moment. That... Uh, you know, that Champions League space that we desperately want and need. Um, you know, we've got Leicester City at home this weekend, another difficult game. Arsenal have got West Ham United away. Um, we've got to perform. We've got to perform. These last few weeks, the performances have been dreadful, um, if I'm completely honest. We haven't had a shot on target in both matches. And, uh, you know, we cannot pick up anything less than three points on Sunday. The Spurs women were in action on Thursday evening in the FA Women's Super League. Sadly, we fell to a 2-1 away defeat against Chelsea. Beth England put uh, the host 1-0 up after 19 minutes. Harrop equalised for Spurs in the 44th minute. And then Kerr, just before half-time, put Chelsea 2-1 up. The Spurs women remain fifth in the Barclays Women's Super League. We have played 19, we have won 8, we have drawn 4 and lost 7. We have a goal difference of plus 3, we have 28 points. Now for a couple of rumours and reports concerning Tottenham Hotspur players and this summer transfer window. The Football Insider have stated that Sergio Reguilon could be on his way out of the door at Tottenham in the summer and Spurs will listen to offers. Queen's Park Rangers 
are apparently interested in, in a number of Tottenham Hotspur youngsters, including Harvey White, Troy Parrott and Keon Tet. That is also from the Football Insider. The Sun newspaper have reported that Antonio Conte is ready for a very busy summer at Tottenham Hotspur as he wants to bring in up to six new signings. There has been lots of speculation about Maurizio Pochettino being sacked at PSG. In a recent press conference, he said he will 100% be at PSG next season. 90 men have reported that Tottenham are among a number of clubs interested in Wolf star Ruben Neves. Now, as we've known in the last couple of months, Premier League referee Mike Dean is retiring after this season. Well, a report has just come out from the Daily uh, Telegraph and they are stating that Premier League referees Andre Mariner and Jonathan Moss are also retiring at the end of this season. So Tottenham Hotspur take on Leicester in the Premier League 2 p.m. kickoff on Sunday. The match officials for the game at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium will be as follows. The referee will be Jonathan Moss. His assistants will be Mark Perry and Timothy Wood. The fourth official, Graham Scott. VAR, Gerard Gillett. And assistant VAR, Gary Beswick. Now, I'm just going to give you one incredible stat ahead of this game against Leicester on Sunday. Tottenham Hotspur striker Harry Kane has scored 18 goals in 17 appearances against Leicester City in all competitions, more than he has scored against any other opponent in his career. 16 of those goals have come in the Premier League, with only Alan Shearer netting more against a single opponent in the competition, and that was 20 against Leeds United. And finally, on Friday afternoon, Antonio Conte will be taking part in his press conference ahead of our game against Leicester on Sunday at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Do look out for the press conference on this channel. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button and that notification bell where YouTube will notify you every single time I upload a new video. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe and well. Come on, you Spurs. Hi, I'm Bill from Football Prizes. I'm just here to tell you about the weekly prizes that we run on the site. Prizes such as our signed memorabilia, match day tickets, trips abroad and more. Just go to our website, www.footballprizes.co.uk.